Okay, I am Mr. O'Mara. Who are I'm, you? I'm Mr. Thompson. Okay, we're going to talk to you guys about what are we, data collection and probability. That's right. Okay, coins. Yeah, coins. Okay, so I'm going to set this up. We want to know, well, actually, I have a theory. I don't have it. This is pretty common. I think I've got a 50-50 chance of this turning up heads. Well, why do you think that? Because I guess I've just always known it from when I was a kid that you toss it when you're working out who's playing which way, mm -hmm. that, you know, it's a fair way to do it, that it's got the same chance. How would I write that? That in seems to be the truth. So, you know, we, we could say that the probability we use this word P for probability. P for probability. P for probability. We've got a, a tail on one side. Yes. Right? And we've got a head on the other side. Yep. And if we put a bracket like this, we could say that the chance of it landing on a tail, we'd say it's 50%. Yeah. So how do I express 50%? Do I write it as you 50? You could write it as 50% yep. or, and you could also say that the chance of it being a head is also 50%. Yeah. So that gives you your 100%. Or yeah. you could say that out of two tosses, you could say there's a chance it'll land on that one time. Chance will land on that one time, so each one is one out of two or one out of two. If you're looking at it as a fraction. Okay, so can, could I have a third line where I express it as 0.5? You could, you can actually write that as 0.5, of course. Okay, it looks like we have um, somebody coming in on our video. I guess, uh, no, we don't have him. No, he's no, not. He's, 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 okay. I guess the is not coming in on this video. I'll take that off the bottom, so I'll just keep it at 50 50. 50 50. simple. Okay, so. This is our theory, this is how we express our probability, but what we're going to do is actually collect some data. Now, how much data do we collect? I guess that's the real question, isn't it? Well, at the moment, what do you think would be a reasonable number of times to toss the coin to see whether it's true that we get 50% of the heads? I, you know, I'm a bit of a peanut, so I'd go for a really big number, but let's be sensible men and do 10. The larger the, the, larger the sample, the more accurate our results are going to be. But 10 is a reasonable enough number to start with. Okay, let's start with let's this. Start so how are we going to set up our collection? How about this? If we say that the, the chances of a tail happening, we'll, we'll log those here, right? Yes. And the chance of a head happening, we're going to log them here. Okay. Now, Mr. Ludinic, the, the man, the ghost who walks, what do we expect? What do you expect to see here? Oh, I'd expect to see them evening themselves out over time. So maybe if you do... 10 or 20 flips, there should only be one or two difference within the uh, heads and tails. Right. Let's see if that's true. Okay. So what we might do is let's put Mr. Ludinik off camera to work with a dollar coin. I'll do mine. Yeah, on camera. Okay. I'll, I'll do mine and I'll call it. Thank you very much for it for us. Okay. Right. So up. What have we got? Tails. It's a tail, right? One there. Tails. It's a tails as well. Tails. What? Tails as well. Hang on, this probability thing's nonsense. We're getting all Hang tails. On. We said we're going to have to have a fair bit of heads. Heads for that one. Okay. Alright. That I didn't throw that properly. I'll do one. Tails. 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 And a tail. Okay. okay. Now, can I pick you up there, Mr. Thompson? The way you're marking these, are you marking our data separately, are you? Yes, that's right. So okay. I've got Mr. Lemnick in the red. And I've got this data R in. Okay, that's fine. So, I've got another tail. Another, another tail. Wow. So, why? Oh. So, there. Okay. Tail. Tail. I'm just checking this point. Now, have a look what I've done here. When we've got one, two, three, four tails and we're up to our fifth one, rather than write another line there, it gets too difficult to count. So, what I'm going to do is put our fifth line through it, and that's now a block of five flips. What did you get? Another tail. Oh, another tail? No, so we're what our team. We're hoping for a big run. <laughs> let's try it. Let's continue it with 10. Oh, got a head. Ten. Oh, there's a head for this <laughs> little We're here. Yep. Tail. A tail. So we're up here. I'm beginning to wonder whether I'm slipping it right. Oh, tail. Oh, I think you've got a dodgy coin. I'm completely. No, 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 no. I'm going to swap. You you swap. You, See how you go. I'm going to swap. I'm going to swap. I'm going to swap. I'm going to swap. I'm going to like that. Like that, I love oh, it. Oh, there's a tail. It's a tail. Yeah. Mr. Ludini, I've changed coins. All right. I've changed your one dollar coin for my 50 cent coin. <laughs> that's that's, that's a very good deal. stealing money. I've got another tail. you got head. another tail. I've got a head. Good. Yeah, keep going. Head. Good. Thank, thank the Lord. Finally, finally there's a head. That's the first head out of that coin. So it that is. coin, how's this? That coin's been tossed 10 times. The first head that we've got out what of What are the chances? Like probability, seriously, that yeah. is. 
extraordinarily unlikely. Tail. Tail. So we're still up here. And now, look, I'm, this is what I think of as closing the gate. You turn it into a gate, like a farm gate. Tail. Tail. And I've got another tail. Okay. So what we have here is a spectacular um, proof that a small sample size actually doesn't give you a reliable enough result. Mm. That if we look at this, our frequency, if we had a frequency charge, and so we're going to write it out in full here. So tails and heads. So our frequency... We had 11 tosses. We no, have 11 tosses here, there's 10 and 1 there. Oh, so what do we, we aggregate them? Let's, let's put them all together. Put them together. Have as much uh, data as so we can. How many tosses did we have? We had 3, 4, 5, and another 5 is 10, 20, 30. 30 tosses in total. Okay, so where would I record that on this chart? So up the top here, you could say there's a sample of 30. Okay. In brackets. So n, n equals 30? Yep. Okay. N meaning the number of uh, accounts in the, in the sample. Great. Okay. Up here, let's see how many of them were tails. We've got 5, 10, 15, 16. 16. 16 were tails. Yep. And then down here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. Hang on, we've lost some there somewhere. Maybe it was 20. No, that must be 20. Okay. Must have been 20. That's fine. So we've got 4 didn't it? as heads. So 4. Yep. So can I just try and go the next step on this? That my probability of getting tails coming back to what you were saying over here, that my probability, so P, which means probability, tails based on this sample mm. is 16 out of 20, which is in fact 4 over 5. Yep. Well, now we know in, in the long percentage. If, you do, if I did that as a percentage, then it would be 80%. Now yep. I, that's a dreadful 8 from me. And so our P heads is going to be what's left. Mm. Now, what I think we've proved, bizarrely, is that our small sample hasn't borne out the greater trend of probability, which is going to be that. I, re I, re I, reckon, so I reckon this is something people can do themselves. Yeah. I reckon, but our sample, what I've learned is our sample's too small. What do you reckon, Mr. Ludnick? Oh, we've got dodgy coins. By the way, Mr. Omar, I did pocket this, but uh, <laughs> that, this is all that much. Thank you for Mr. Montano's coin. Um, <laughs> so, guys, what's a, what's a better sample? I think we've just learned something about sample size. Let's hope that all of you have a coin in your pocket. What we'd like you to do now is pair off with somebody else. And if we collect a whole pod sample of how, say, let's say if we all did a sample of 10 in our pairs. Or a sample of 20. You know, or a sample 10 20, each, And 10. then we collected those together as a whole pod. We've made this massive sample. And we should get, and I bet we don't get that. I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get closer to this 50-50. At least that's what we expect, isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, that's fully what we expect. This is not what we expected. Mm. So, yeah, we'll work together. Okay, that'll do for the end of this video. Thank you.